My name is Amanda, and I am one of the instructors at Reigns. I happen to be one of the two interactive vaulting instructors, which is the discipline that the kids we are gonna see today do. Connor actually was referred to us through his school system as, as someone who would benefit from receiving services. And when we looked at all of our programs, interactive vaulting seemed to be the best fit for him. And then when COVID um, hit and we started taking precautions for that, we had to separate the interactive vaulting team um, because it wasn't safe to have six kids from different households all together with their hands on each other, helping each other. So we switched interactive vaulting um, to only serve members of the same household for the, the time being, which is when Connor's younger sister, Ariana, joined. And it's really been great to have the two of them together because, you know, how often do siblings, even though they love each other, struggle to get along, struggle to communicate with each other. And in interactive vaulting, they're really working on all of those skills without knowing that they're working on those skills because they rely on each other to be successful. They have to tell each other what they need. They have to support each other physically and emotionally. So it's actually been kind of a really cool twist to work siblings together in interactive vaulting because of COVID. Their focus has improved. Their attention to detail and directions has improved. One of the coolest things I saw was early on when Ariana joined, I had Connor help teach her the movements that he'd already learned that she hadn't. So it gave him a leadership opportunity, um, it gave him an opportunity to be a role model, and it gave him an opportunity to really practice kindness and empathy and, and his communication skills in teaching his sister. And then at one of the very first lessons, at the end of the lesson, I always have the students tell each other something they did well, tell the volunteer something they did well, and tell the horse something they did well. And Connor thanked Faye for keeping Ariana safe. Not for keeping him safe, not for being fast, but at the end of the lesson, his chosen praise to Faye was actually to pet her and to thank her for keeping his sister safe. And that was a really cool moment. Yeah, I just, I've, we've seen a ton of benefits, you know, for our own children, and I've seen a lot of growth with a lot of the kids that we work with um, within our special education program, just in regulating their emotions or building that confidence, all of those um, skills, even balance, tons of physical and kind of emotional or behavioral benefits that I've seen, you know, at work and, and with our own kids. Mm -hmm. I'd just comment on just the consistency of all the staff at the Reigns of Life and how they're always helpful, positive, patient, kind, and um, it just creates a really good environment and really good example for all the kids to, to learn from and grow inside. Yeah, and there's a lot of, um, I think, room for problem solving on their own and building that independence and, I don't know, just responsibility in those types of skills. So I think mm -hmm. that builds up their confidence and their knowledge that someone trusts them to do, you know, what's right and what's responsible. So yeah. yep.